Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover what is a variable. And a variable is a symbol used to represent an unknown value. And usually a variable is represented by a letter. So you can think of a variable like a missing puzzle piece within a math problem. Now a variable may only have one value or it can change depending on the context or situation. So we'll go through a couple of examples in order to make better sense of that. We'll go through one example where the value of the variable can change and we'll go through one example where the value of the variable will be defined. It only has one value. So let's jump into example A here where we have the expression x plus 7. Now in this example, the variable's value can change. It's not defined or set to be one thing. So maybe we have x equals 3. If x equals 3, then we would have 3 plus 7 equals 10. Maybe we have x is equal to 11. In that case, we would have 11 plus 7, and we would end up with a value of 18. So again, in this situation, the variable's value is not defined. And a real world situation for that expression, we could say we have someone that makes $7 an hour plus any tips they make. So do we know exactly how much they would make an hour? Not exactly, because we don't know how much tips they'll make each hour. So that x will represent the unknown. Let's say they make $3 in tips the first hour they work that day. Well, that $3 plus the $7 hourly wage, they would earn $10 that hour. Let's say the next hour they uh, earn $11 in tips, right? So the variable's value is 11. So we would have $11 plus the hourly wage of $7 equals $18 for that hour. So again, a variable's value can change. Now in situation B, we have an equation there. We have x plus 7 equals 11. Now the value of x is defined. It has to equal one thing. So for example here, again, x plus 7, we would solve this algebraic equation by uh, getting the x by itself. So let's subtract 7 from both sides and we end up with x equals 4. You can also figure that problem out using mental math. So x has to equal 4. 4 plus 7 gives us that 11. We can't say that x equals 6 here because if we plug in 6, we would get 6 plus 7 equals 11, which is not true. So in situation B, we have an equation in which that variable has a defined value. It has to equal 4 there. So there are a few basics and kind of an introduction into variables. And remember, a variable is a symbol used to represent an unknown value. And we went through one example where that value uh, could change right? Example A there. And we went through one example, example B, where the variable had a defined or set value. So I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.